Ivor Tyson here, Artistic Director of Workshop West Playwrights Theatre, and I am here with the award-winning designer of Cafe Daughter, T. Erin Gruber. Hello! Hello, Vern. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Very well. How are you? Good. So tell us about Cafe Daughter. What did you think when you read the script? What moved you about the play? Tell us, uh, tell us what you saw. Uh, what excited me most about the play when I first read the script was all the things that are going on in the main character's life, all the things that are underneath the surface. Um, so in, a fa in fact, all the things that weren't said in the script um, were the things that excited me the most about the piece. And uh, in my first conversation with the director, Lisa, uh, she was also very excited about the same sort of undercurrents, the same sort of under pull, the, the thing that pulls the, the character through all of these circumstances. So we've got some toys here. We've yes, got some, a cat and we've got a rendering. So tell us about what the audience is going to see when they come into the theater. Um, when the audience first enters the theater, they're going to be seeing uh, on the floor an aerial view of Saskatchewan. See the, the land parcels of Saskatchewan. And those will in turn uh, be drawn up out of the earth into these platforms, which form um, almost like a third of a circle on the back of the set. And that circle is then drawn up and, and turns into this uh, bit of a vortex, this tornado. Uh, uh, which sort of represents the memories and the experiences um, in, uh, in Yvette's life. It's also an inverted teepee. That's right. So we were really, I was really inspired by the, um, the tradition of thinking of the teepee as a woman's body. And uh, since this is a woman's story, and particularly the story of one woman, um, the idea of the inverted body or the inverted female figure or the inverted teepee, which is also a home, uh, was really central to our concept. Now, you're known as a projectionist, uh, using a lot of projections in, yeah. your, in your stuff. Tell us about the, 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 these images back here, the drums and, the, and how you're going to project onto this set. These four um, growing hoops, as it were, at the back of the set here were inspired by drums, as you mentioned. And they'll be a central place for us to project imagery and communicate ideas of movement and travel which are very prevalent in the story uh, but everything that you see on stage will be a surface a canvas for me to paint images on so now this is a white maquette obviously you haven't painted that's this right yet, but, yeah, we have, but we have a, a rendering here so uh, well, tell us about the color palette and what we're going to see in terms of color on this set. the color palette was really inspired by nature and particularly by the land in Saskatchewan and the sky there so in the tornado we were we drew on an image of a of a pale lavender sky just after sunset which the director had found that she loved and at the base of the of the image there was the sweet grass blowing and so the colors of the sweet grass the colors of the sky and then of course the land parcels and we have the the greens and the ochre tones there which represent uh the farming and all the culture that grows out of that in saskatchewan beautiful last question mm -hmm. favorite cafe food diner um food. my favorite food in a diner is eggs over easy nice Eggs over easy. You heard it here first from T. Aaron Gruber, Cafe Daughter, runs at the Backstage Theatre November 25th to December 6th. Go to workshopwest.org for tickets. Thanks.